good morning students how are you in last videos we have discussed about nouns common nouns proper nouns abstract nouns and collective nouns now in this video we will learn about singular nouns and plural nouns so first we will discuss about singular nouns what are singular nouns when you are talking about one person animal place or thing then it is called a singular noun for example a woman an owl a train a flower a ship and many more now in these pictures you can see that only one person a woman single animal that is an owl a train a thing singular uh, things are given therefore we have used a and an before these words there are also singular nouns an airplane a letter a bicycle a map a boy a photographer a bus a refrigerator a comb a slide a girl a swing a key a van here in all these words you can see that we have used an only with airplane and with all these words we have used only a why so because in airplane the uh, first letter is a vowel vowel you know a e i o u so we have used n before airplane but the rest of the words are starting with consonants what are consonants letters other than the vowels they are consonants so we have used a before all these words now let's talk about plural nouns what are plural nouns when we talk about more than one thing place animal or people then it is called plural nouns most nouns are made plural by adding s at the end suppose a singular word is given bat then what will be the plural of bat bats we have added s in the end of bat star stars fan fans mug mugs cap caps in all these words you can see that we have added s in at the last of the word to make it plural now some more examples of changing singular to plural bird birds broom brooms camel camels desk desks doll dolls egg eggs flower flowers folk folks and many more in all these words you can see that we have added a, only s at the end of the word to make it plural some plural nouns end in es when we will end es when the last letter of the singular nouns are ch sh s double s or x you usually add es to form the plural for example bus now you can see in the word bus the last letter is s so what we will do to make it plural we add es at the end of the word brush ending with sh then what is the plural brushes b r u s h e s watch ending with c h so plural is watches w a t c h e s fox ending with x so it its plural is foxes glass ending with double s glasses plural now some more examples beach beaches branch branches box boxes church churches and many more you can see these are the words which are ending with ch x sh double s and s now some plural nouns end in i e s when at the end of the singular nouns it is ending with y then we change y to i and add es in the end of the word 
for example butterfly plural is butterflies now you can see that in butterfly the last letter is y so we did changing y into i and then add es so it is butterflies same in lily plural is lilies canary canaries candy candies some more examples of the words ending with y baby babies cherry cherries diary diaries dictionary dictionaries fairy fairies and etc now in all these words uh, in the singular uh, column you can see that the word is ending with y and in plural what we did we uh, change y into i and then add e s now if there is a vowel given before the letter y in a word then we will add s to make it plural for example key keys tray trays turkey turkeys in all these words you can see that before y a vowel is given so what we did we have added s at the end of the word now some more examples of the words given uh, the vowel before the y chimney chimneys cowboy cowboys day days donkey donkeys jersey jerseys kidney kidneys monkey monkeys toy toys trolley trolleys valley valleys in all these words you can see that we have added only s to make them plural now if a noun ends in f then what you have to do we often change f to v and add es for example calf calves elf elves half halves leaf leaves loaf loaves shelf shelves thief thieves wolf wolves in all these words you can see that they, uh, the singular nouns are ending with f and to make them plural we have uh, changed f into v and then added e s now some nouns that end in f they, uh, we need to add s to form the to form the plural for example chef chefs chief chiefs cliff cliffs handkerchief handkerchiefs roof roof sheriff sheriffs now the words ending with f e then what we will do we will change f into v and then add s for example knife knives life lives wife wives but the word giraffe is an exceptional why because it is ending with f e but to make it plural we only add s in it so its plural is giraffes now if a noun ending in o then we have to add only s to form the plural for example a rhino then the plural is rhinos a kangaroo kangaroos a video videos a hippo hippos a zoo zoos but in some nouns that ending in o you add es to form the plural for example flamingo flamingos a tomato tomatoes a potato potatoes a hero heroes but there are some plural nouns that don't follow the s rule they don't end in s es ies or ves they change like mouse to mice foot to feet goose to geese child children man men ox oxen tooth teeth woman woman some plural nouns are the same as the singular nouns that is we don't need to change change them in plural form for example deer deer 
fish fish sheep sheep bison bison and there are also some nouns which are always plurals for example goggles spectacles glasses binoculars pliers jeans a pair of shoes we can make these plural nouns singular by using a pair of for example a pair of binoculars a pair of spectacles a pair of goggles a pair of jeans a pair of shorts a pair of pliers a pair of shoes okay students till now we have completed uh, singular nouns plural nouns and uh, all the types of nouns so please go through the video more than once for the better understanding and i have tried to cover all the basics of singular and plural nouns and go and watch the previous videos for your revision as each topic is connected so okay students thank you take care have a nice day